Hey guys, Tim Ferriss here, author of the 4 Hour Work Week, 4 Hour Body, 4 Hour This, That, and the Other Thing. I always get asked about smart drugs. What smart drugs are you using? And people want to know about the racetams like Paracetam, Hydrogen, Depranil, Modafinil, all that stuff. I've used all of those, and in the last year or two, I've decided that generally the short term gain for me not worth the long term side effects or other issues. But if you want to improve cognitive function, there are a few things that I use that I found very sustainable and consistently reliable. So I'll show you what those are. This is the collection, and I'll point out a few things. Uh, the first is going to seem really boring. This is, this is creatine plus ubiquinol. If you have, for instance, Alzheimer's or other neurodegenerative diseases in your family that might have a mitochondrial basis, uh, this is a good combo to take on a daily basis. So creatine ubiquinol, number one baseline. Next, we have lion's mane. Maybe you haven't heard of this. I certainly hadn't heard of it until very recently. And these are two options, and I'm sure you can get uh, many different brands, but this is Four Sigma or Four Sigmatic. If you want to light yourself up like a Christmas tree, and I encourage you to start with a half a dose, this is lion's mane and chaga plus instant coffee. This will extremely impact your cognitive and mental state. So I would suggest starting with a half dose if you go for this. I have to use this with uh, some moderation because I'm very sensitive to it, but two, three times a week when I really need to put on the gas, this works very well. This is a lion's mane uh, mushroom tea that does not include the coffee. So this would be a decaf version of that. Next up we have yerba mate. So yerba mate is a tea that is from South America. I associate it with Argentina because I lived there for a very long time. And these are three different brands. So my kind of go-to, even when I was in Argentina, was Cruz de Malta. It's very inexpensive. This is, I am sure, con palo, which means with the sticks. And then you have Jesper and Anna Park. This is certified organic, if that is important to you. Important note, so what you consume is one thing. How you consume it is the second. And how you consume something and in what form has a huge impact on the pharmacokinetics, meaning the peak, say, plasma concentrations of the things that you're ingesting, right? Hence, example, you would have coca leaf versus cocaine versus crack, ostensibly coming from the same origins, but very, very different effects with very different rates of onset duration, uh, addictiveness profile, and so on. So my preferred means of consuming yerba mate and there are many different forms now because it's become more popular, is the traditional way. So you would usually have a gourd, and I have probably 12 gourds, uh, wooden, uh, made of leather, etc. This is just the most practical way <laughs> to make it easiest to clean. And uh, I would pack this full of leaves up to about yay, and then fill it full of hot water. And I'm simplifying this process. If you want to be a good cebador of yerba mate, then you have to study what that means. But this, the bombilla or bombisha, is a straw with little holes on it. You stick it in and you're going to fill it full of hot water. Sip, you're only going to get one or two sips out of it. And then you have to pour more hot water in, let it steep for a second, and then sip. So you have a constant, basically, IV drip of tiny amounts of yerba mate. And I will drink this when I'm writing for hours, two to three hours. But I'm not getting like a jar of it or a can and just chugging it and then doing my thing. That doesn't work at all for me. This is how I have to consume it. Next option is synthetic or exogenous ketones. And for people who don't know how to spell that, it's EXO. Some people call them androgynous ketones. That is incorrect. So exogenous, like endogenous, meaning your body produces exogenous, like exoskeleton coming from outside your body. All right, this is effectively in order of intensity, uh, you have first keto canna, which is a powder, tastes a lot like uh, lemonade or Gatorade. And the benefits of all of these are going to be decreased oxygen requirements. So when I'm in deep ketosis, meaning dietary ketosis, so I've fasted and then followed what is similar to an Atkins diet, my breath hold time doubles. It's very fascinating. And I've seen this in other people as well. Uh, this can have that effect even if you are consuming a carbohydrate-based diet or carbohydrate-rich diet, uh, exogenous ketones. Uh, and this is option number one. So you'd mix it in water and uh, give a drink. This is Keto Force. Uh, this is a liquid that you'd mix into, say, water. 
It's very alkaline, so you would put in perhaps a few tablespoons of lemon juice, which I have, unsweetened lemon juice, to counteract that with the acidity. And then you have, you know, 1,3-butane-diol and sodium-potassium BHB salts. It's beta-hydroxybutyrate. This stuff, okay, let's put it in order, of intensity and uh, disgusting factor. This, very palatable, very easy to consume. This, pretty neutral, but a little weird tasting. Uh, and will have a probably a, a greater impact on your blood BHB levels than this. And then these are most likely going to taste like jet fuel. So you might end up just dry heaving in your kitchen, which perhaps is not the performance enhancement that you're looking for. And uh, I'll show one more thing because you might ask, well, how the hell do I know what my BHB concentration is? Well, if you know what your BHB concentration is by using something like this. This is a precision extra device and I can show you exactly how this is used. So it is a glucometer made from Abbott Labs, Precision Extra, X-T-R-A, is, is how you say it. And I'm gonna take a Lancet. This is a brand new Lancet, of course. You don't wanna reuse these. And I use the depths of, a depth of three for myself. And then we have, both, we have both ketone strips and we have glucose strips, all right? So you want to sterilize. This is very important, boys and girls and meatheads. Don't skip this. And uh, that is what I'm going to do as soon as I get a glucose strip in first. All right. So let's see where I am. I just had a pretty big lunch. Glucose strip in the Precision Extra. I'm going to get a little bit of alcohol on that finger. Now you can see it's ready to go. I'm going to blast off. That's going to give me blood. And then, boom. So this could be well over 100 at this point because I just had uh, quite a big meal. All right, it's exactly 100, right? Now, I will reuse this hole in my finger. Um, so I'm just going to alcohol swab that again and then use a ketone strip. And I'm gonna guess that I am very low on ketones, but I did have the exogenous ketones earlier uh, today. So I really don't know what my measurement is going to be here. I'm gonna wait for this to dry off just a little bit. Uh, but normally if I weren't in ketosis, which I would consider say above 0.5 millimolars, which is what this is measuring on the ketones, uh, I would probably be around 0.2 right now. All right, so let's get some blood. And this is much more effective, much more reliable than using, say, keto sticks, which you pee on, which is measuring acetoacetate. If you become very fat adapted and good at using ketones, there we go, 0.2. So I thought I would be in 0.2 and I'm at 0.2. I'm not in ketosis. I am incredibly glucose dependent at the moment. Uh, but within two days with proper dietary planning, fasting, uh, intense, well, I should say, not intense, but consistent walking and some exogenous ketones, I could be at 1.2, 1.5, even 2 millimolars without too much trouble. And that would very definitely be in ketosis. I would feel 10 times better cognitively. You can mimic that by taking the exogenous ketones, but you can use both and make it even better. And for those of you who have asked about Lyme disease, what did you do? What helped the most? The ketogenic diet and supplemental ketones helped the most is the short answer and hyperbaric treatment on top of that. So there you have it, folks. You've always asked about smart drugs. That's my current portfolio of smart drugs that I use. So be safe, be responsible, enjoy. Thanks for watching, everybody. I would love to share more videos with you. If you would like to see them, please subscribe right here, and I will get to making more for you.